part one of the series of uh, digit tutorials that I prepared for TOT number one on GS based asset condition inspection methods and tools. As I have informed you during the first day of our face to face training, we're going to use the tools called QFIL as the tool for collecting information on assets using uh, our handheld devices so based on the uh, before we start I'd like to again uh, assume that we have all of this first so we need to take note of the following assumptions first is that uh, everyone has QGIS installed in their computer with a QField Sync plugin installed. Everyone has a copy of the QGIS project in their computer in a folder named Vitu. The, the name of the project is GCF SRC Passing Vitu Q V2. And then the third assumption is that everyone has the QField mobile application insta installed on their phone. And everyone has a copy of the, on their phone of the QField packages inside two folders. And these are folders B1F and B2F. So for this online training, our agenda is focusing on how to create the QField package from QJS. So I hope everyone is ready. Uh, let's now start. Uh, the session. First, we need to open the, the QGIS application. Um, my version of the QGIS might not, might be different from yours. What is important is that uh, uh, you can open this file. So this is the QGIS file that was copied to you. This is uh, actually the basic or the master copy of the tools that we will be using for physical asset condition inspection mapping. But for this training, uh, you will not only be using these tools, but you will learn how to develop your own QField uh, collection tool. But you can produce that, you can create a mobile collection tool only using QField only through QJS. So you have a copy of this, and we don't want to modify uh, anything on this project, so we'll have to we need to create a new project. But before that, let's go to your file explorer. I'm using Mac, so uh, the display that you're looking at now may not be the same as yours, but the functionality is the same. So I'll open my, my finder. This is equivalent to the file explorer in your windows machine so here i will create first the folders uh, that is needed for us to continue first i will create a new folder and i will name it uh, q field project files and then under this folder within this folder We'll create another folder or a subfolder. Uh, we'll call it QF data datasets, and then we'll all again have another folder. We'll call it QF uh, CSBs. CSB and then another folder we'll just call it uh, like uh, QField QML okay I'll, I'll explain to you later on why we need all these files but when you start doing this project for QField you need to have these folders to save your data and everything you need so it will be easy for you also to find them so mine is in desktop I name it QF project files okay so let's go back to 
QJS. So in QJS, let me remove this one first. There is on the browser panel, there is what we call an option called favorites. So here you can add that folder. So you can easily access it. So I'll add a directory here and I'll navigate to the folders that I've just created. Desktop. So there you go. There it is. QF project files and I'll open it. So now those folders are accessible in my QJS project. Okay. So there you go. Those are the subfolders. Again, we don't want to modify this project. We're not actually modifying anything by just adding these uh, folders. So we'll save this one in our Q QF project files. We'll save it there. So uh, we'll click project, save us, and then we'll go to that folder. And then we'll give it a name. QF project let's just put it QF, QF project 1 and then make sure that you save it in QGS not QGZ QGS format and save it Okay. after saving it you'll see that it will appear on the browser so it has now a different name on your windows machine you can see this change goes to the upper left corner of your windows display so since we have already this we can now what we can now remove some of the layers that we don't need here so we'll remove this by selecting one layer okay by holding on your shift key you can click on your mouse and then select them and then remove right click and then uh, choose the remove layer remove layer and then click OK and then you don't need also this one select it and then remove layer and click OK so okay so this is now your master file for your QF project that's one uh, on QJS let's save it okay I'll stop the video here and let's continue uh, on the next video. See you then.